A demolition permit is definitely required before providing any demolition. Within five business days for demolition, we deliver flyers to everybody within the block of the uh, residence that's being built to notify them what is happening in the area. Prior to a demolition, we'll take pictures of, of all the existing infrastructure, also take pictures of neighbors' houses in case there is any damage. We typically bring in a reuse company that will recycle as much of the stuff out of the old house as possible. And then once that's done, make sure it's safe and uh, start the demo. Once we do start the excavation, uh, we've obviously got to get rid of a lot of fill. Um, but it also means bringing a lot of big trucks into the neighbourhood and people aren't used to that in their neighbourhood where they're living. There is potential for some of the excavation to slough. We can use shoring if that seems to be the case. So once we're above 1.5 metres, uh, we have to slope that uh, excavation back for safety. That's where we would use either a 4x6 post with plywood behind to, to keep that safe, or if we're going even deeper, then we end up with steel piles and, uh, and wood shoring. We drill screw piles into the ground and then basically put in steel metal beams as well as then we sheet it with 7 8 plywood to ensure the safety of the neighbouring properties. As far as keeping water out of an excavation during construction, there's not a lot we can do. We try and uh, get the foundation in and get it backfilled as quickly as possible, try and keep the site moving forward. As far as safety on a site, our, our fencing is our most important thing. Uh, as long as we can prevent people from getting onto the site, then uh, nothing's going to happen. We're, we're safe and we've done everything we can to keep the neighbourhood safe as well. Mm -hmm.